Okay, so here's what we have going on this morning. Now, Tropical Storm Maria uh, is continuously moving to the west, northwest at 13, 15 miles per hour. And its winds are at uh, 65 miles per hour. And the pressure is down to about 994 millibars as it continues its west, northwest track as of 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Also, you have Lee out here farther to the east, moving to the west at seven miles per hour, and its winds are at 40 miles per hour. Now, Lee is not forecasted to ever get anywhere near the United States. At least that's what the forecast is now. Lee is not anything from what we're seeing right now that we're going to have to worry about. It's going to end up slingshotting on back up here to the north east Atlantic Ocean. And Maria's again forecasted to go up in this area here to take a similar track as Irma did. And it's going to be a pretty strong hurricane. At least that's what the forecasts are because there's a lot of warm waters down here. Jose is going to continue to fumble around up here in this area around the eastern seaboard of the United States. So Jose will be a big rainmaker, uh, probably some flooding and some coastal erosion from the waves. But that's about it as far as Jose is concerned. As Hurricane Jose pushes northward in the Atlantic Ocean far off the East Coast, another system has formed, Tropical Storm Maria in the Caribbean, and could well follow Irma's destructive path toward Florida as a full-blown hurricane. Now at 5 p.m. on Saturday, the National Hurricane Center upgraded the one-time disturbance to Tropical Depression Maria and said it was 620 miles east southeast of the lesser antilles moving west at 20 miles per hour and it was packing maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour now hurricane watch was issued for the antigua barbuda st kitts and nevis in monorat islands a route followed by irma as it moved westward now a tropical storm watch was in effect for the st lucia island chain area around barbados and st vincent as well hurricane conditions are possible within the hurricane watch area by Monday night or Tuesday with tropical storm conditions possible on Monday. Now the National Hurricane Center went on to say, although forecast tracks can change dramatically as we saw with Irma in some cases over the coming week, maps on Saturday show the storm moving on a Irma-like path over Puerto Rico on Wednesday and Hispaniola on Thursday morning heading straight toward the Florida Keys again. Now Hurricane Jose meanwhile was 485 miles south southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, moving north at six miles per hour with a maximum sustained winds of around 80 miles per hour. The center said interest from North Carolina to New England should monitor the storm's progress and advise that tropical storm watches may be issued in the next day or two for portions of the area being along the east coast. Okay, so here's the projected path of Jose, as you can see, all the way up until Thursday at 8 a.m. Now, as you can see here within this cone here, there is a possibility that Jose will affect New York City up in that area or around Massachusetts. There's a chance that it will happen. But I will tell you that if it does affect these areas directly, it won't be a very strong tropical system. It won't be a very strong hurricane at all. It'll just be a category one and there's absolutely no chance of it strengthening once it gets up in this area because of the much cooler waters that are up here compared down to the Caribbean or around Florida. All right, guys, just to give you an idea of the sea surface temperatures up here where Jose is, uh, Jose is right in this area here. And as you can see, the sea surface temperatures are much cooler up here in this area. Uh, versus 80 almost 90 degrees down here in these areas uh, you have much cooler temperatures up here uh, toward New York and the eastern seaboard so whatever category hurricane Jose is which will just be a category one hurricane barely uh, that's what it's going to stay at once it does get up into this area because the sea surface temperatures doesn't support it strengthening much after that at all. Now, if it was moving, say, 20 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour, something like that, and it was a Category 3, if it was heading up in that area, then it would be something very big to worry about because it's moving much faster 
and it would be at that time theoretically a much stronger storm so it would cause much more damage but this storm is barely moving and it's barely a category one hurricane i mean it is something to keep an eye on but it's not going to be anything to worry about compared to what irma was down in florida because again the sea surface temperatures just do not support that hurricane strengthening really at all now as we look at the wrf tropical atlantic system model here the wrf model and it goes all the way through tuesday it has jose parked right up here right off the coast of america here toward new york city along the eastern seaboard there and like i said even if it does hit in that area it's going to bring a lot of heavy rains the uh category one hurricane force winds they'll bring to that area and obviously some flooding concerns and stuff of that nature but it will not be anything like at all what irma was down in florida the bigger picture the thing that needs to be watched more closely obviously would be maria down here which is in much warmer waters and taking a track similar to an irma took now as we look at maria the wrf model also has it coming up into this same area as irma did and again these waters down here are much warmer compared to the waters up here so there will be some strengthening going on with maria as it continues its trek toward the northwest on its current path all right real quick i want to pull this map up to show you um to give you a better idea of what the sea temperatures are out here where maria is versus where jose is up here now jose is still in some you know fairly warm waters up here it's uh, in the 70s and 80s up here where jose is right now but as you can see if it moves farther north here up toward new york and close to the coast areas there the temperatures are down in the 70s and 60s guys it's not very favorable for hurricanes at all in this part of the atlantic ocean whereas down here where maria is it's down in the mid 80s and even gets warmer as it approaches up toward florida so uh, that just i just wanted to give you a perspective of how much cooler the waters are up where jose is versus how much warmer the waters are down here where maria is and so it's just not going to actually favor any major development of jose up in this area at all okay so here are the forecasted wave heights here, according to these models, the Atlantic wave heights. And as you can see with Jose, there's gonna be some wave activity going on up here. And it has been going on up here for several days because Jose has been in this area for a while. So we're looking at anything from nine to 12 feet waves around the coastal areas here associated with Jose as it continues to kind of circle around up there in the same spot. Now, Maria obviously are going to have more extreme waves as it is a much more powerful hurricane as it approaches the United States. Um, and some of the extreme wave heights there, we're talking anywhere from around the center area, anywhere from 15 to 30 feet waves as you get closer to the center of the storm. Right now, the forecast models don't exactly know where Maria is going to go. So we'll just have to keep watching Maria as it is a much more dangerous storm than Jose will ever be. Just to give you some perspective on that with the wave situation. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below this video.